So you want to build a Lego airship that can go up, down, turn left and right easily, and floats in the water? Then stick around and I'll show you how to build a ship titled the Mud Skipper. An airship that flies up and down, turns left and right, all with only switches and thrusters. Okay, the first thing we want to do in order to build our Mud Skipper ship is build a porch shack. And we want that for the foundation only. The foundation is going to be level, and the only way to get a level foundation is through one of the prefab structures. And a simple shack, real quick and easy to build. You don't want to build anything complicated. Once you have it built, break away everything but the foundation. We're going to throw down four wood foundation pylons right in the center of each one of our for 16 by 16 wood foundations. They're gonna throw on some supports, two by 16s, palatial support. You wanna do that on both sides. After we're done with that, we're gonna build wood foundation, 16 by 16 wood foundations, three of them across the top to build our dynamic foundations on top of. And then top it off with some nice tile. And it's more than just aesthetics, we also want the weight. And here we're going to make two wood foundation pylons, and they're going to be support structures for building our directional thrusters on top of. And the reason why we're using such a high one is because we're going to build it on top of it, and the switches do not work independently when they're connected to the main structure. So we're going to build it on top of it and then break away the support, leaving just the thruster. Then the switch and thruster should work independent of the main platform, allowing us the ability to turn left and right. We're going to build a work platform offside. Build a cage around our port structure that our thrusters are going to fall into and be held in place. Put our switch and our thruster on. Once we're done, break away our supports. And hopefully it falls just nicely in the place. It's mostly in the place. Wiggle it in the place. Um, maybe we can jump on it? Mm, nope. We'll just push on it from the other side. That should get it. In. There we go. Oh, perfect. Alright. Cap it off. Now we just got to build the other side of the support platform, build the cage, finish off the cage, the thruster structure on the pylon, the switch and thruster. Break away our supports. Ugh. Not as good as the first one. Uh, pushing it into place did not work. Wee. Second attempt didn't work out either. Third time's a charm. I added another brick on top to give me something to push on. Try to push it in place like we did the first one. Use a little bit of the thruster to help wiggle it into place. Go into place, man. It's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, that might be the problem. It's all centered.
A little bit more pushing, a little more wiggling. Finesse that bad boy in there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Bingo. Perfect. Get rid of that pushing block. And everything works. Cap it off. Get rid of my jumping block. Now we just need to add thrusters on the bottom for lift. We want to make it evenly based out so we get even lift across it. No, I don't want to go up sideways. That should do it. Now we're going to add some support beams on the side for wheels. I want to make sure those uh, support beams have the open ends facing outward or the 2x16s won't connect to it. Using 2x2s on the center and rear. And then some more 2x2s to give mounting places for the tires and the wheels. I'm going to have five wheels on each side. The wheels are important because you'll run into things like trees, the ground might not be level. And you don't want the bottom of the ship running into it or it'll break it. The wheels will keep that from happening. All right, now that's all set, let's decorate the top. Now we'll add in a switch to turn on the thrusters on the bottom and the forward thrusters. They are working. Add in our balloons for lift. Need to make sure they're evenly spaced, otherwise it'll go up sideways. Some rails to keep us from falling off accidentally. Some chest for our loot. Some lights so we can see. It's also handy for finding your ship where you parked it late at night. Alright, now we're ready to test this baby out. Break away our supports and undock the ship. We have liftoff. I think I hit the stairs. Bit heavy, so we came down quick. So I give it a couple of taps to try to slow the descent. Yeah, forgot thrusters on the back. Alrighty. Now we got forward movement. Let's go for a trip. Let's turn right. And we turn. Mm 
we turn left now. And as we come back down, we have to hit the thrusters to go up again, maintain our altitude. And that's how we're going to control when we come up and down. Gravity is going to pull us down, and the thruster is going to keep us up. What an amazing view. Let's see, we're making forward movement. Probably could have put more thrusters in the back for a bit of more speed. Uh, we could do that later. Turning right. Turn this bad boy around. Find a place to land. Let's see if we can land on that campfire over there. Tap the thrusters, slower descent. Kind of like a SpaceX rocket where the lunar lander just kind of using the thrusters to slowly come down. And touchdown. Now I need now is a parking brake. It's gonna roll away. No. And there you have it. The mud skipper. Click that subscribe button if you want to be notified when I post this video on how I made this floating castle manor.